Welcome back to another video. I know what you're saying. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. I'm in the process of doing my hair blue. Okay, this is the process. This is the first process. I had I had to bleach it out. Everything that I had. I wanted to wait a few days, then do the second bleach because it's not healthy to just keep bleaching your hair. So I wanted to wait. Okay, don't get mad. But I'm gonna use the opportunity to show you guys what this fire hair look like. You do. Dang, dear boy looking nice. I was actually just thinking about just uh, tapering my hair right now. So I thought about why not show you guys, you know, what this look like before I even get to where it's all blue. But my hair is literally fire right now. Like it looks like a fire, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, this could be iconic dread right here, dread style. And then I have one black. Uh, we call it bluish black, but that was a test on one of them that we tried. And the bottom one, like half of it came out to be blue. I don't know if you guys can see it, and greenish at the same time. But it was not a success, so we have to go bleach it more. That's why, like I said, I have to do two rounds of bleach. And it's not healthy for it to just back to back do it. So I'm gonna wait a few days, moisturize my hair, give it some things that it needs, and then do it again. So while we wait though for that, let's just do some taper real quick and and show you guys the before and after. So this is the before without a haircut with this style. And I have some bleach in my, I don't know how it got to the bottom, but it did. I'm thinking cause whenever we bleached it and we put it in the ball and then we put a plastic bag in it, some of them came down to where it's, where it's at right there and bleached my hair, which I don't like initially, but it don't look that bad. This hairstyle is actually, guys, like, it's actually fire. Like, I'm loving it. One of the best dread, one of the best hairstyles or hair colors I've ever had, to be honest with y'all. Hands down. I don't know what the blue gonna look like. It might prove me wrong, but hey, it's color I've ever had. Before we get into the haircut, though, here is intro! Intro! down yeah this is nice I really like this but let's really come out here now Hey guys, I don't know how much you like me talking over the voiceover, but this is the best way to explain it and what is going on with my dreads, man. Yeah, it's, it's my first bleach right here, and I'm actually, as I'm speaking, I have the second bleach on. And the problem that I'm facing with is that um, if I try to do everything at the same day, like two bleaches with the hair removal and everything, it's gonna hurt my, it's gonna hurt my hair pretty bad. And so, I'm actually wanting to do um, two bleach in two weeks uh, in a in a week period of time and then uh, go with the blue. But right here, as you guys can see, I'm actually tapering my sides and I wanted to show you guys also since you guys have been wanting to learn more about cutting hair and tapering. What I'm doing is to start off, this is the best way to do the fastest cut, right? I start off with the liner that I had the trimmers. I just bought these for 60 bucks. Um, literally a hookup deal they usually like 120 and so I start up with the first line uh, which is your first guy line and I shape up everything else with it too so I go hit my beard I hit my uh, lineups I hit my uh, the back the side of my hair or the back the side of my hair uh, behind my ears I literally do everything that this thing can possibly do so I don't have to come back to it again this is the best way to um, to get the fastest way to cut your hair, and some of y'all probably have different methods also. Um, so I started with that. It's pretty good actually, and I love it because it's wireless. Uh, the one I have, I have another one too, the black one. It's wired one, but it is annoying. Plug it in, unplug it in, and stuff like that. So I leave this one on charge. So everything that I'm doing on this side, I am actually 
copying the same thing to the other side so you guys can see you will see me later on doing basically one side and i go back to the other side and one side basically matching everything so that the taper can look pretty good uh, my beard is actually almost connecting and so what i like to do is i like to shave the part that i wanted to grow more um, because the more you shave it it's kind of like it's kind of like whenever you never shaved anything before it kind of can grow to a certain length and then after you shave it uh, and notices that uh, it needs to grow more, it needs to grow stronger, and just like a muscle. Once you break muscle down, it, it, it will automatically think it needs to grow a little bit harder so that it don't get break down again. So that's how you build muscle. Well, same kind of with hair. Um, you kind of shave it, and it kind of grows back a little stronger, a little bit more length to it too. So, uh, and I actually, I kept on mentioning different uh, videos that I, I'm actually gonna get the twist in the front i used to lay it down the whole little small baby hairs that i had i used to all like lay it down not even baby hair an actual part of my hair i used to lay it down and line it up i stopped doing that because i was getting so much dread down and uh, it was kind of like affecting the front part of my dreads they started to get skinny on the roots and i didn't like them so like i said i get sketched down when things get skinny and stuff like that so i like to combine them or i like to grow out the ones that have been cut before so that i can max uh i can i can mix them together um my hair dreads actually uh needs a, a retwist uh, but not so much retwist i just need to separate uh some of the locks that started to connect as i dye my hair as i've washed my hair uh, some of the drills start to connect more uh, on the roots, so I need to separate them. But for a retwist part, actually, this this looks pretty good and it's pretty healthy not to retwist your hair so many times, so many, so many, so many times in a month. And so I'm not gonna retwist my hair till I actually fully get the blue locks. And I'm a uh, use crochet needle methods to lock the front ones like I said the ones that I've been growing and also I will go to I'm thinking about going to a loctician to get a pretty good uh, uh, retwist also but that's actually I do that I never done it before so uh, the only person that I ever locked pretty tight on my dress is Gunther the Great and um, I don't like to apply too much pressure on my head and it hurts too so right here actually I opened the guards up and um, if you guys uh, haven't watched the other video tutorial that I gave about clippers and the zero guards and what they are, go check that out. It's the one with the dread where I gave myself a high top fade. Hopefully I can put that in the information so you guys can go uh, check that video out because it goes in detail on what guards and what open and close means. So right here is an open zero and basically I'm going up an inch, half an inch and I'm making a whole curve, uh, a whole curve, uh, basically, what is it called? guideline for the second one so i'm making sure that uh i'm curving it so that later on the lineup can look very crispy and darker at the edges so right here i, I put a one on uh, guard number one uh, i believe it's called 1 16th uh, and basically what i'm doing is i'm doing the same thing that i did with the zero uh, with the zero open uh going up in half an inch to an inch with the curve that i started with uh, so that i can get a nice blend a curvy blend it's kind of like a a burst blend um, but the edges will look sharper and much darker for the lineups at the end uh, like I said I'm matching everything that I'm doing on the left side to the right side so you guys already can see a pretty good fade coming in right now and I think I closed it right here and once you close something it goes shorter so you have to work uh, from the down up and not go into the actual um, bulk that I have so right here what I did it was I made sure that uh, I made the second guideline and I went back to the original guideline with the half closed zero with the zero half closed and what I'm doing is blending the whole thing down all the way to the zero or all the way to the shaper part uh, once you do this you will get a nice cute fade but the top as you guys can see there's a little bit more bulk to it and it needs a little bit more work to it and so you guys go and see me uh, come back with the one and a half, which is the white guard that I have, which I like the fact that it's a different color. I wish they can make all of them different colors so it'd be easy color coded for everybody to use, uh, especially for beginners. Um, so 
right here you guys gonna see me use the like I said the one and a half and um, this method that I use right here is actually to get rid of a bulk but not get it to where it's too short this is like a way to shape up everything uh, evenly the hairs all be evenly and from there I'm able to fade up and everything will look much smoother than it did before and actually I did this with the one also with the one guard not just with the one and a half one and a half I use very not rarely sometimes to finish my blend to where it blends if I have a bulk one may call this crispy taper I call this amateur I call this an amateur because uh, of the speed that I was you know getting it to get to get out the house because I think I had to go to church in like 30 minutes I needed to take a shower and stuff like that so um, it was a pretty fast fade uh, very amateur wise because first of all to start off this top of things I usually what I usually do is I make sure everything is evened out with the one and a half or two so you guys can see my the back of my head is very bulky and the taper is on the sides which in the front for people that are looking at you half the time most of the time will look good and I ended off with that thank you guys Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got the dip, but that was like a 15 minute taper. Quick taper. Came out pretty crispy, right? Is there like a line that I'm seeing? Oh, it's my vein. I thought it was a line, but I have a vein that looks just like a crispy lineup. What? Well, I may be capping. Woo! But I, I do have a vein on both sides that kind of curves. And it looks like I have lines, but come on man. 15 minute who else can do that subscribe god dang it all right thank you guys for watching this video check out the previous video but till next time i'm gonna be dying my hair keep back to the verse creating your universe i'm out